Hello everyone, this is Freyba from watchknitting.com tutorials. Today I'm gonna be showing how to make a mat with handmade loom. Basically it's the same method for making fabrics. Okay, let's start with materials. For this you will need a flat box, which you can find it from any grocery stores. You also need some nails. You will need a hook. You better pick the bigger one or you can use safety pin, pair of scissors, a bulk yarn. My yarn is Bernat blanket yarn. Uh, that's very soft and is perfect choice for this mat. A pen and a ruler. Okay, let's start. First of all, you need to draw a rectangle which is 2 cm larger than what you want your mat to be. This is because it's gonna shrink after you take it off from the loom. I'm pointing my rectangle and I'm planning to have my rectangle 40 cm in length and 30 cm in width. That would be enough for using one skein of bulk yarn. Now I divide each side of the rectangle 1 cm by 1 cm and I mark it on the box. Now it's time to punch the nails on the marked points halfway through escaping corners. At this point, my loom is ready and I'm gonna pick up the cotton string to start the mat. I'm tying my string to the first nail on the top left side and then I connect it vertically to the first nail on the opposite side. I wrap it around the nail, leaving it a little loose and repeating the same step for all other nails. I keep connecting until I reach the last nail on the right side. Once I got to the right side, I do not tie. I lift the second string and every one string after that and then Slowly, I let the cotton string through the left of the strings. As you see, a string goes over the first and third one, but under the second vertical line.
Once I got to the other side, I pushed the loose string down towards the nails by the end of my hook. Then I wrapped the cotton string around the first perpendicular nail on the left side and gently I pulled the string on the other side. When I finished the first row, I wrapped the cotton string around the first nail on the right side. And I repeat the row, but this time a string goes under the first string and over the second string. It means you should leave the first, third and fifth vertical lines. As you see, some strings get twisted and it makes it harder to find the right ones. But you should be patient and take your time to find the right sides. I'm gonna keep doing the same thing until I reach the last row on top. Okay, here I got to my last row. As you see, I convert to using safety pin because it makes it easier to go through tight loops. Okay, now we are almost done at this point. I remove loops from nails. You need to be careful with the left side loops because they are loose and they can come off easily as mine did. To secure it, I pass the cotton string in the first loose loop, then I use the hook 
or my save the pin to pass the cut on the string in the rest of the loops. At the end you can cut off the yarn or if you have more string left, pass it through the loops again and then secure the tail. Now you can use the iron to make it softer by the steam. Just make sure your iron shouldn't touch the fabric. Okay, we completed another project today. Leave your comments and thumbs up if you liked the video. Stay connected for more tutorials from washkneading.com and please subscribe to our channel to receive our latest videos. Thank you for watching and have a really good day.